something gonna do, and I'm all because when I was kidding, it makes me lie. And I'm not gonna be cocky, bro, I'm gonna be mad, I'm gonna be Today we're gonna be talking about the situation of the, um, Kenny Marshall Pop, that the Devin Fair, okay? Or, it's about to be. Live from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, streaming on Spreaker.com via 102.5 KONB San Francisco. We are your world. In late 2013, mid to late 2013, I had received an email from President Obama explaining the situation of what he had stated on behalf of the immigration panel of his offices in the United States um, President Presidency Office. Um, asking me to come to attend one of his meets on the immigration panel, which he had stated in one of the emails. That email was emailed to me, and then kkato at gmail.com. And when that email account was actually deactivated at the time, we had lost the email for Obama. But he had sent originally. So basically the situation here basically is to get people aware of the situation on what is going on here currently. I do working ties with in coordination with the FCC, the Federal Communication Communications Commission, the United States Congress, um, Washington DC, and of course with FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, Denver, Colorado, Region 8. Um, and of course I am also with the um, FTC, FTC, no, DHS, DHS, Department of Homeland Security. So with the situation here, basically on behalf of this um, whole nationwide um, turmoil in the United States here, pertaining to this case of the uh, nationwide gun control debate here, nationwide, what I basically I had did myself is um, submitted to President Obama the proposal of the steps on what to do to enact martial law in case situations like this have happened. What I had basically provided for him is the step-by-step -step, um, comprehensive um, plan on to enact martial law if this continues, is what I had proposed for him to do. He still refuses to do the enactment of martial law, so which is the case of his own domain. And the other hand basically is the Republicans as well as the other people who are not in favor of um, you know the mass shootings like this on behalf of this um, nation and the United States of America um, is the only situation to pertaining to impeachment trials. The trial of the impeachment status of President Obama, President Barack Obama currently if he does get impeached today, this year, or sometime next year, we'll suspend the elections and then terminate the elections for 2016. This means that no president that's currently running for presidency will not run. And we'll have to go strategically and then are to the steps to sworn in the vice president. Of the United States. That is what the situation is currently. So President Obama does have a choice to make. President Obama does have what to do. He knows what to do. He knows how to do it. He just decides not to do it. So the only choice for him to even do anything is to follow the steps to do it right and to enact martial law nationwide in the United States of America. If that is not done in a certain amount of time between now and sometime next year, President Obama will be impeached and there will be no elections for 2016. The United States will be put in, into civilian lockdown, which means that the, the um, military will have free range of the United States if he does not enact martial law. If he enacts martial law, his presidency will be safe. If he doesn't, he will be impeached. That is the bottom line. I am Matthew Mikato from Matthew and Network and Real Public Media. Live from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, streaming on Spreaker.com via 102.5 KONB San Francisco, we are your world.